It's as if they're standing at the foot of a mountain and they have this abstract concept. Welcome back to the Mountain Mass. Right, so in the last video, Greg took you through how to express numbers in standard form. So in this video, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing, but this time we're gonna go through how to multiply and divide numbers in standard form. So just to the right of me, you can see the way Greg expressed it, where A is any number between one and 10, and N could be literally any number, positive or negative, depending on whether it's a large number or a small number. Right, so here I am, I'm on Mars. I'm on Mars for a very specific reason, it's actually 35 million miles away and a very easy way to express that in standard form, that's exactly why we do it. It actually helps us compare numbers uh, really easily and express large numbers very efficiently. So let's just quickly review what Greg did. We've got 200 million to my right here, could you express that in standard form for us? Okay, hopefully you found that was 2 times 10 to the 8. Right, could you try 32,000 now? Okay, I do hope that you found that as 3.2 times 10 to the 4. Okay, so we've got 200 times 10 to the 4. The surprising thing about this standard form is it's actually not standard. So to correct this, we can represent this as 2 times 10 to the 2, and then times 10 to the 4. Now, this is a law of indices, a posh name for telling us that we've now got to add the powers. Adding 2 and 4 gives us 2 times 10 to the 6. Now that's in standard form because we've got a number between 1 and 10. Can you just try this one for me? Okay, so hopefully you notice that this should have been 1.2 times 10 to the, well, 1, and then adding the 1 and the 4 gives us 1.2 times 10 to the 5. So now we can actually get numbers in true standard form. Now let's try multiplying them. Okay, so to my right you can see 2 times 10 to the 3 multiplied by 4 times 10 to the 4. Nice and easy, the first step is simply multiplying 4 by 2. That gives us 8. And then we can simply add the powers, 3 and 4, for a final answer of 8 times 10 to the 7. Okay, so here's one for you to try. Okay, hopefully you found that seven times 10 to the seven multiplied by two times 10 to the minus three gave us, well, first of all, 14, but what's the power? Well, seven plus minus three gives us four. So hopefully you found the final answer should have been 14 times 10 to the four. Oh wait, that's not standard form. So 1.4 times 10 to the one plus um, the 10 to the five gives us 1.4 times 10 to the 5. Okay, try this one for us. All right, hopefully you found this was 81 times 10 to the minus 5, and correcting that to true standard form gave you 8.1 times 10 to the minus 4. Beautiful. Okay, let's try dividing powers now. Now, don't be concerned by this. It's just simply the opposite. We're going to subtract the powers now. So, 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. Now, 5 subtract the 3, you've got the powers, gives us a final answer of 2 times 10 to the 2. See if you can apply the same principle to this next example. Okay, I hope you found that 8 divided by 2 gave you 4, and subtracting the power 8 minus 3 gave you 5, for a final answer of 4 times 10 to the 5. Let's try one more to make sure we've definitely got it. Okay, hopefully you found that 0 0.5 times 10 to the 7 was our solution, because 4 divided by 8 is 0 0.5, and 5 minus a minus number takes us to uh, 7 giving us a final answer of 5 times 10 to the 6. Right, as always with Cedar Mountain, here's your exam question. As you can see, this quite simple principle can land you up to four marks in an exam style question. Okay, this is Lewis at Cedar Mountain. Thank you very much. Alright, so you've just multiplied and divided numbers in standard form. Huge congrats. So we're just going to take a moment to discuss what's going on here. Right, you've got me here in my team t-shirt, Team Stuart, with a bit of a tongue-in-cheek uh, maths joke at the front, and on the back obviously representing See the Mountain Maths 9 to 1. Now, Greg's going to design his own very soon. We'd love to hear any ideas you've got for what could be a great, fun, physics or math style joke to go on the front of it. So I'm going to be advertising um, mine in black, available to purchase on seethemountain.com and there's going to be five actually in white what are going to happen as monthly giveaways to anybody who likes and subscribes but also posts a correct answer to one of our exam questions. So just to recap, that's 15 in black for sale and then five as prize giveaways in white. Thanks so much guys. Cheers. It's as if they're standing at the foot of a mountain and they have this abstract concept called impact that they want to have in the world, which is the summit. What they don't see is the mountain.